This morning in family time, we've got frosty trails, owls, and yes, even ales. New England is beautiful in the winter, so it is a great time to head outside and explore. Here to tell us about the programs available for kids of all ages at the Wildlife Ref Refuge across the state is Lauren Parmelay, uh, Senior Director of Education at the Audubon Society of Rhode Island. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for, for joining us today. Let's start with, uh, with birding at Fort Wildlife Refuge this weekend up in North Smithfield. Yes, our beautiful Fort Refuge in North Smithfield is a great place to look for all kinds of birds, and including barred owl and woodpeckers and the small songbirds. So um, feel free to sign up for that program on the Audubon calendar at our website at ASRI.org, and clicking on the calendar will lead you to the program registration. Excellent. Okay, now next month you're also going to have Stories in the Stars. Now this is going to happen in Bristol, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Our Nature Center and Aquarium in Bristol. We do a lot of programs. And Stories in the Stars uh, is February 10th. And you'll hear stories from different cultures about stars and go outside and look at the constellations and maybe have a little hot cocoa to go with that. Well, I think I'm going to sign up for that. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like yeah. fun. Okay, and then over in Seekonk, there's going to be story time and uh, meet an owl in the big white barn. Now, I know you folks have brought owls in before, and we see owls all the time. You know, you may see an owl and say, oh, that's beautiful. But until they're, like, very close to you, you don't un even realize how beautiful and majestic these birds are. They really are. And this story time in Meet an Owl is for young children ages three to five. Um, our Caratunk Wildlife Refuge in Seekonk um, is a beautiful 200 acre refuge. Um, and so if your young children want to meet an owl and hear a story, I encourage you to sign up for that program in the Big White Barn. Sounds like fun. Now, you've also got the winter birding and nature walks for teens and adults. And a lot of people don't realize how many beautiful birds are out during the winter time. They don't all fly south. No, they don't all fly Most south. Um, if you have feeders the past few days, you probably saw a lot of little songbirds um, stocking up on, on food at the feeders. So you definitely should come along family winter walk on January 5th in Smithfield for ages four and up and get out there and look for some birds and look for animal tracks in the snow. Uh, one more thing, you've got some snowshoeing in North Smithfield and out in Exeter. Now, obviously, would this be weather dependent? Yes, you generally need snow to go snowshoeing, um, but... <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. It's just a little thing about <laughs> snowshoeing. Um, but oftentimes, especially in the Exeter program, if there's no snow, you'll still go for the full moon walk. Um, which And Fisherville is a beautiful refuge out there in Exeter. It's a thousand acres with miles of trails, and um, that should be a lot of fun, snowshoes or no. Okay, and then one more thing. Uh, you also have owls and ale, and that's also going to happen in Bristol. Yes, Owls and Ale is a very, very popular program. Um, so if you want to do that, I would get on and register or get on the waiting list. Um, that's for adults now. Do not bring your children to that program. Um, but you'll meet an owl, you'll sip some ale, and get outside in the moonlight. What's better than that, right, Lauren? Sounds like a great time. Sounds like you have a lot of great activities. And thanks so much for, for being on with us. Plenty of winter fun to look forward to. And we're going to share this list that Lauren just shared with us at roadshow.com.